Hello, my name is Joe Miller, and since becoming the Prof's first in-house consultant a little over two years ago, I've won three industry awards for helping over 100 students um, from 30 different countries in applying to the best universities in Britain. In this video, I'm, I'm going to give you three quick tips on how to perfect your application to Oxford's prestigious PPE programme. My first tip is that the personal statement is critical. Unlike Cambridge, given that Oxford interview less students on this program, just 34% of students are interviewed, the personal statement is super, super important. Therefore, with all of my clients, I approach the personal statement via four pillars. The first is that you must have a unique academic identity. What do I mean by this? I mean that in the opening of your personal statement, there must be some sort of unique theory, unique concept, unique methodological underpinning that makes your personal statement stand out and makes the Oxford professor want to continue reading. This is absolutely critical. The second pillar is that you must be able to substantiate this identity with supercurricular activities. I'll talk more to that in the second tip. The third pillar is that you must not forget this is a personal statement. You are not only going to university to pique your intellectual curiosity in some theory or concept. You're going to learn life skills that can set you on a path to a great career in the future. Tell them this. They want to see this. The fourth and final pillar is that your personal statement must explain how you will contribute to the university. Things like the Duke of Edinburgh, sports teams, musical instruments are not particularly important from an academic standpoint. But what you can do at the end of your personal statement is really show off the teamwork leadership skills that you've advertised in your previous schooling endeavours and how those will make you a leader on campus at Oxford. My second tip for mastering the Oxford PPE application process is to consider your peers at schools to be your rivals. That is because the way Oxford assess your application now is such that they are directly comparing you to your peers at school. Therefore, even if you go to a great school and they encourage you to do great supercurricular activities from EPQs or IPQs to essay competitions or even work experience, if everybody else at your school is doing the same and they are applying to the same program, you simply won't stand out. Bear in mind, almost two thirds of successful applicants to Oxford's PPE program get at least three A stars in their A level. And bear in mind that the number of students coming from state schools is rising year on year and is now at an all-time high of 68%. Therefore, despite how good your school may be in giving you supercurricular activities, it is simply not enough to stand out anymore. My third and final tip for mastering Oxford's PPE programme is to keep up to date with the research in your field. That doesn't mean just reading The Economist or subscribing to the Financial Times like you might be told to do at school. That means looking at the course structure on the PPE program, looking up which academics are going to teach you, and then looking at the research that they have recently published so that you can stay up to date with the latest meta-narrative in your field. When it gets to the interview, that is what will drive a great conversation with the admissions tutor. Having studied at Oxford myself, I'm well aware of how rigorous and sometimes stressful the application process can be. These are ultimately just three of the quick tips that we can offer you at the profs, and we have many, many more. Therefore, if you would like support and guidance with your application to the Oxford PPE programme, please get in touch with the links on the screen. 
Good luck.